Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Lawson said hey too. I decided that my front porch needed a little love recently. Here's my basil plant that came out of my herb garden and just planted itself right here in the front of the house. And I'm just gonna leave it there. Anyway, I'm not gonna do a whole lot to change my front porch. Um, a few years ago, I fell in love with the Sherwin-Williams Color of the Year uh, Evergreen Fog and I painted our front door that color and I'm still in love with it. I'm not changing that. I got this wreath from Magnolia and I still like it. I don't want to put out any fall stuff definitely, but that's the next transition that we'll have. So I'm really just going to do a clean up. Apparently one of my wreaths fell apart on the door and I never noticed. Anyway, um, I'm just going to get everything off of the porch real quick. I'm going to, I'm sure you noticed the dirt daubers. Uh, I think I've talked about this before. I hate those things. They're so aggravating. That's something we're definitely going to address, but we're really just going to do a cleanup. I had to hire some help to do some of it. He's a jolly soul. Our subscribers normally love to see Rainy. She really is a jolly soul. <laughs> However, she's had a little allergic reaction to some flea medicine lately. It hasn't diminished her mood. She's still very happy. Have y'all ever swept holding a baby? Holding a almost 10 month old specifically? My husband said he was fixing to do it, but he was taking a little longer than wives like. So here I am sweeping one-handed. I know we've all been there. <laughs> This would probably be a lot easier with a pressure washer, but here we are with the water hose. Do y'all have any life hacks for keeping dirt daubers away? I don't know, I've never heard anybody talk about that, but on the off chance that somebody knows something, please put it in the comments. I got this little wrought iron chair at uh, an auction several years ago and I loved it. I thought it was kind of creepy looking, but I just love the look of it and it's still very sturdy. It's rusty and I've been meaning to kind of scrub some of this rust off and give it a little update. So today I decided I wanted to spray paint it black. I like the color that it is, but um, I'm doing black and white on my porch. I just thought it would look a lot better if it was black. You can probably tell it's super overcast today and it's super muggy. Oh my gosh. You know, the sun's not bearing down on me, but it's so humid. It's very uncomfortable today. And this chair may take a while to dry with it being so sticky out here. Well, much like everything else I do on this channel, not perfect, but I like it. Just gonna clean the storm door. 
I've kind of been in the market for a new screen door to go over this front door, but I haven't found one that I actually like, so we won't be changing that today either. Now that that's dry, I'm gonna hang my wreath back up. I really do like this wreath. I've liked everything I've gotten from Magnolia. I wish I had been videoing, but I saw a spider on the wall and I threw that wet rag and I hit it. Ugh. I got this tall wicker basket vase thing at an auction also. I'm not really sure where I got this metal bucket, but I really like the color of it. I thought about spray painting it black as well, but I really just want to leave it the color that it is. My husband and I both are slightly partial to antiques, and sometimes I like to upcycle things and paint them, but sometimes it just feels like a shame to do that. Like this glider. I know I've talked about this glider um, on this channel before. It was my grandmother's. She had it before I was born. It's very old. And I just cannot part with it. And I, I don't want to paint it another color. I like the white. And uh, I don't think I'll ever change it. I washed my mat here. It didn't really help. But like I said, I'm sticking with the black and white for now. Until I bring out my fall stuff. And I'm just going to put everything right back where it was. My little chair finally got dry enough I could pick it up and move it. So, here's a reminder. The before and after. So, like I said not a big change I really didn't change anything I painted the chair it was mainly just a little clean refresh nothing drastic just made me feel a little better about the front porch you don't always have to do something drastic to feel better about something a lot of times I sit out here in the morning and edit videos when Lawson's taking a nap <laughs> I've got these country style ribs in the crock pot for supper tonight and they're done but I always like to pull them out and brown them in the oven. They need a little color on them. If this is your first time finding my channel, I like to do cheap and easy recipes that anybody can do and these, this family pack of ribs was less than ten dollars and I put up corn we also grew some carrots these are our carrots and I made sourdough nan bread earlier today so if you're looking for supper ideas I normally post something like that every week Lately, we've been very busy with everything we're harvesting from our garden. Next week, I plan to be putting up squash and zucchini. I'm probably just going to freeze most of it. Honestly, we've been eating most of it fresh and I've given some away, but um, we've finally gotten several good rains and the garden has really started to produce a lot in the next coming weeks. I'm going to do a video about what exactly we planted and how much we've harvested and what I've actually put up from our garden. Pumpkins are really coming along.
These are our three green striped Kushaw plants. <laughs> they have taken over this entire side of this garden. And with that, as always, I thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I wish you'd give it a like. If you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe and follow along with my little family. And until next time, bye y'all.